Okay, let's do a chess tempo session, but first let's have a quick look at my stats, my summary. Uh, so last time I had 79% on the 15th, and I've since, uh, that was for half an hour, sorry not on the 15th, on the 11th, so I'm, I had a bit of a break here. Firstly, but I won the war zone on chess cube on Saturday, so maybe the tactics were paying off a little bit tactical training because that was pretty neat short games on chess cube <clears throat> so we'll go to training tactics and uh, click start hopefully you get a big board here We're recording from here to here I think that's a good area um okay so Queen G2 Queen G2 nothing Rook D2 doesn't do anything Rook F7 doesn't do anything I wonder what this is about. <laughs> uh, it's not Queen F3, Rook F3. It's not Queen E4. It's no deflection. These pieces are vulnerable though. If Rook F7 and Queen E6, Rook F7, Rook F7, Queen E6. So Knight C5, Queen F7. Uh, where? How would the Rook defend? Uh, say Rook F3. Uh, Bishop f3, Queen f3. Again, the Queen's always defending b1, uh, d1. So Queen b3, Queen b3. Can't get to d1. So there's anything simpler here? Something about these two. Hmm. Um. Or something about this. Even even uh, more obvious. What about just Bishop f6 cutting off the protection of f7? Bishop f6, there's no key check, is there? There's queen e, there isn't queen e6 check. There's queen g4 check. Okay, where can this bishop move which would be useful? Queen g4 check. Um, maybe the king still moves. Then where is the bishop going? The bishop's kind of trapped, isn't it? Uh, where would it actually go? So I think I'm going to go for bishop f6. Fouled rook takes f7. <laughs> Let's follow rook takes f7. Uh, so if rook takes f7. All oh right. So what happens here if um, rook takes f7 for white? Uh, if rook takes f7 for white. Oh, I think it's rook d1. Yes, there is a decoy away from g2. And I should know this sort of from theme from my French defence games. I'm often pressurising g2. There's rook d1. That's a nice deflection. So queen e1, queen g2. That's why it's probably not mentioned. Um, just uh, <laughs> the obvious um, rook takes f7 here is not mentioned. All right. Okay. So... Not the greatest start. My king is up there in this one. Uh, is bishop f3 playable or is it just too slow? What about queen d1 first to try and get everything running with check? King f2 though. Uh, does that make much difference? Hmm. I'm not really. Sure, I could play queen f3 there. And then there's going to be h3 check winning the bishop. Takes, takes. I think, um, so bishop f3 probably allows like queen h4 is, um, is mate. So that would be embarrassing. So maybe, um, uh, queen d1 is a wise kind of move here. This is like something like rook f8. No, no, no. No, actually, bishop f3, queen h4. It's not mate. There's, there's um. King f5. But then there's like probably rook f7 is slaughtering. So I think I'm going to go for queen d1 here. Uh, there's no queen c1. There's queen d3 to consider. Oh no, king e1. I'll, I'll go for queen d1. Feld. 
<laughs> it's Bishop D3. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. So what happens here with King G1? Follow this. Is it King G1? Ah, check here. Right, so why knight e1 there? Why not some... Um, oh, there's queen f1. Okay. <laughs> this is not good, not good. Nor to f2 so far. Uh, um, rook b8. There'll be check. King e6. Uh, so what about just king e6 first? Uh, looks pretty useful. King e6 first, then if rook. Well, that then, I mean, it just looks crushing king e6 to play like f6. I mean, I'll play king e6. Well, don't, don't tell me rook b8 is winning. There's, there's, I'm going to play king e6. It is king e6. So I've actually guessed the move correctly for a change. Uh, so rook, just rook b8. Because if um, takes the bishop c7, takes, oh no, what about f6 then? f6, doesn't mind about the queen is f7. Um, but then rook c7, but then takes, then rook b8. So I think f6 looks as though that could be handy. Um, unless rook b8 first, rook c7, and then f6. Is also potentially useful. I think I'll go with f6 straight off the bat. Mind you, rook c7 takes. I'll, I'll still be threatening f7 if queen. No, there isn't a queen. Right, f6. Alright, could this be the first problem I get right? So, not f7. What about bishop? Just bishop c7? Because I carry on then with the threat of f7. Oh, there's a better move. <laughs> oh, bishop e7. There's rook c6 check. Ah, oh, there's a better move. Um, well, rook, rook h1 looks pretty good. <clears throat> or, um, bishop e7 has rook c6. Uh, I think maybe just, I don't know. I'll go with rook h1. Nope. Not the computer's first choice. What about rook c1? It takes them as f7. Is it rook c1? Blimey. These are really hard. If I take on c7 with the rook. Now if I take with the king, so if queen I, I mate. Or pawn. Then king yeah, and f7. Okay, I'll take with the pawn. f7 surely. I'm actually going to get, I'm actually got one wrong, right, after, after the struggle. Um, cool, did I get any easier? <laughs> so, knight e3, queen f4. Um, so, rook, it's not rook g4 here, it's not queen e3. Knight e3, queen f4. Then what? Um... Okay, knight e3, queen f4. There's a queen, there's a queening thing here. Potentially. I think it's some, it must be something to do with that. So, um, queen e3, rook e3, there's rook h4, threatening to queen, there's rook e8. Um,. What about, I don't know, check first. So, not take, then taking the rook. K 
king takes, then there'll be check, then taking on h3. So I think check first. So I can get the rook out of trouble. Then I can take the rook here. Cool. 50% off that. <laughs> Okay, so um, Queen G5, Rook G8. Um, there isn't Queen G8. There's like Queen and thingy for a Knight F5. G7 looks as though that's something going on there. Um, there's no Queen E4 attacking the Rook, and then Bishop C2. So I'm clearing that diagonal. What's wrong with that? Queen E4 hitting the Rook. Rook moves and then bishop c2, isn't that just crushing? It's a simple queen e4. Do I need to like fret and mate? Because there's like rook g8 and then I can't see a thing after that. But queen e4 actually does something for bishop c2. Ah, oh, that is the move, okay, maybe. Alright, so can I just take the bishop here? It looks like a free bishop. Do I need to do anything clever? I don't think so. Let's take the bishop. Okay. Um, queen d2, there's queen d3, then there's queen b4, there's c4, then there's queen b2. Is, is that the right approach? Queen d4, queen d3, queen b4, c4. No, there isn't queen. No, I think that queen d4, queen d3, queen b4 is winning then, isn't it? Because c4 I just take. So queen d4, queen d2. Ah! <laughs> Ow! It's queen f2. Torture. Oh, king d3, there's queen e3. Otherwise, as a mate like this, right? So the way I had it, what was wrong with Queen D two here? Ah, uh, Queen D two. Hmm. Um. Queen d2, queen d3. So I said queen b4. There's king d3. Would you then there's queen c4? <laughs> no, there isn't queen. The, the queen will be on d3. Queen. <laughs> Great, I'm having trouble. Uh, let's get the analysis board or something. Oh, there's an analysis board. Okay, so queen d2. <laughs> Check. There's C4. Okay, that makes it clear. Okay. There's also engine analysis here. Um. UCI engine connector. Um. Okay. All right, that that resolves that one anyway. Um, so I think I'm still on just fifty percent correct, free and correct free fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. All right, how many choices are here? I mean, King J or King H seven? If King H seven is Queen H five, and that looks to be like mating. I think I like myself. So King J might offer. Um, not getting mated immediately. Um, that's true, isn't it? That gets mated to Queen H5 because then takes. So King G8 might actually offer some hope somehow. Take the rook after because where does the queen go? Then take the rook after. Queen can't go on the diagonal because that knight. So King G8. Now. 
knight e2 to the deflect of that and then taking on h7 because otherwise they get mated again. Knight e2 looks to force the bishop back. And then king takes rook. And I can't see the danger after that. So king takes rook. Cool. Correct four, incorrect three. <coughs> So d7 or king f8 and there's rook e8, bishop e8 and then d8 mate, uh, queening. So d d7 looks good and this bishop's not going anywhere. Um, I can't see anything else actually apart from d7. Uh, should I be looking for something else? There's no mating on h8, the king over there. d7? Ow! That's rook c7. <laughs> oh, that's that's better with the pawn uh, to get the pawn going without allowing the knight sack. Of course. Okay. Okay. Rook c7. Where's the knight going? Okay. If we follow this, yeah, it will just be uh, getting much ke keeping the pawn without the downside of losing the pawn with d7. Knight a6 to d7. Oh, that was just that was just a throw away. That was terrible, terrible. <laughs> okay, so queen f two check here. King h three. E two. As an example, would be queening the pawn, but queen d eight. As bishop, I think that's queen g five. King king h sevens. Queen h4, but then there's bishop h6, but then there's queen e7. So maybe maybe it's not that. Maybe bishop e5 first. Um, bishop e5. Where did the king go? If that looks dangerous to the king, even more because king g2, queen f2 is looks, looks crushing. King h4. Uh, king h4, queen check. King g5. Uh, but then, then what? Have trouble seeing that one? Let me go back to the drawing board here. Queen f2, king h3. What about just queen f3 there? So if king h2, bishop e5. If king h4, bishop f6, and if g5, that's trouble surely. So I'll go for queen f2. Right now, I think queen f3. There's no time for e2. Just go for the king instead. Queen f3. There's no other major checks. There's no check on f1. Right, so bishop f6 of g5. Well, there's queen h1 as a check. And if king g5, queen h6. King f5, queen f6, mate. And if king g3, there's bishop e5. So I think queen h1, actually. So queen h6, queen f6. All right, correct five, incorrect four. Okay. So the obvious b takes c is is crying out um, to be played. Um, but on that obvious move, there'll be queen. Um, C3 threatening mate on A1, and that resolves some black issues. But if King A1, then if Knight takes D1, there isn't Queen C7. Queen B2 is mate. What about just Queen takes C3 here? Then is that more radical? Uh, if Rook C3, then there's Rook D4, and Bishop D4, there's Bishop D8. So queen c3 looks tempting. There's no check on e4. Queen c3, I take. And then again, if bishop takes bishop d8, rook c8, then maybe. So what's wrong with um Is that actually better than b takes c3, queen takes c3? Is that really the case? Is that really the case? Queen takes c3, rook takes c3. 
Rook takes d4. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think so. It might be. Wrong. It was b takes c3. Oh, what was I thinking? I didn't see, see that. Um, so why not takes? I was takes. Takes. That's not good then. So queen takes c3. Was that not move? Queen takes c3. Okay, so the, the actual line was, was this one. Okay. So not um, queen takes c3. Takes. Oh, taking on g5. Taking on g5. Okay. <laughs> I should really um, stop guessing, maybe. Uh, really try and find non uh, controversial uh, controversial proof queen d7 takes there's no check to win the queen um, rook f8 forces bishop f8 which is useful maybe in a way that I can't see at the moment. Uh, so rook f8, bishop f8, there isn't queen e4. Queen e4, queen e4. Okay. Um, right. Actually, c2 is vulnerable as well. So this is tricky, isn't it? Um, so rook f8, bishop f8. There isn't queen d7 there. King takes, there's nothing there. So where can the queen go? What about just queen b3? Threatening queen f7 and keeping a hold of c2. Does the simple move queen b3? Looks pretty crushing. It's also queen g8 as a threat. I think I'll go with queen b3. Oops. <laughs> too much bishop b4. Bishop b4 is apparently the move. What does this actually... Oh, d7. So d7 is really vulnerable, forcing black to give up the queen. So why can't... Ah, I see. So rook c7, there's, maybe there's queen a8. Oh dear, so I'm below 50% now. <laughs> correct 5, incorrect 6. Um, whoa. So, it's not knight d6. Takes bishop b4, then queen e1 looks crushing. Can I notice castle here? Is thing really a problem? Or maybe knight c5. Knight c5 and then taking on... Um, there's no knight d3. Taking on b4. Then, I don't know, king f1, there's bishop c4. So the, with the king in the centre like this, this looks as though... It would be wise to castle, actually. Because then, I don't know, knight g5 or something, queen b5 will be strong. Just castle here. Castle's the uh, safety instinct move, yeah. Because takes check looks just too strong. Um, knight c5. Mind you, knight c5, there's no check on d3. So queen c5. I don't know. Casting there. Ah, oh, I think I'm just going to castle. 
wrong <laughs> what does c takes b4 check oh the knight back just like that Sim quite simple no, no need to fare oh dear <laughs> oh um what if i can get back to 50 percent uh so if check on b7 or or here could try i think here looks better uh, to drive the king to the first rank when the king's already kind of um in problems here uh, hmm. so <laughs> I don't know instinctively I think rook a4 and knight c5 to be able to play like knight b6 at some point knight c4 is rook a6 rook b7 say king a8 there's going to be loads of checks. Um, oh, there's knight c8 check. Hold on a sec. King king there's a mate. If um, king a8, then check. King knight c8, king a8. Um, that looks like really dangerous. Check King B eight. Hmm. Was well, Knight B five check? That might even be more dangerous. Uh, King A six. Um. That Rook A four's mate. So King A eight, A eight, Knight C seven. So I think it's Knight B five. Oh, <laughs> I think I'm going to give up now. <laughs> Correct five and I'm close to giving up. What? Okay, so check, 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 mate. Right. So the way I played it obviously wasn't mating. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a long video if I can try and get to fifty percent. <laughs> is it going to be easier ones? Okay, just in case. Um, queen f1, king takes, rook a1, king e2, then what? Okay, that's not too hot, or is it? It's rook f7, just trying to defend. Hmm. Uh, rook f7 and the material situation is uh, around about equal and there's a threat of playing queen c2 once the knight moves so maybe indeed rook f7 is the only move to try for an advantage aha uh -huh. and now queen c2 Or queen e2, queen e2 might be better. Keep an eye on e3 as well as f2. Although queen c2 hits the knight on a4 as well as f2. Um, mind you, f2 seems like terminal. Um, mind you, rook b2 is the fence. So I think queen c2 is pick off the knight on a4. Pick off light on a4. Okay, okay, it's possible um, to get the 50 set, maybe just two in a row. <laughs> Knight g6, queen h6. There's knight takes e5 there, friendly knight f7 mate. Or there's queen h7, king takes rook h4. 
Knight's pinned. There's Queen H6 there. Okay, there's Rook G6. FG, there's Knight G6, and if takes, there's Queen F8. Rook G6, and if Queen H6, then Rook H6. Rook G6, and the Knight takes. That looks pretty tasty, Rook G6. I'll go for that. So just Rook takes H6 here, I think. Whoa, seven correct, eight incorrect. So, um, Rook c6 or queen h3 looks maybe good king d6 is rook c6 king f6 isn't rook f1 dangerous king g7 ah uh, well there's queen h6 it's queen g6 but then there's rook c6 queen h6 so i think queen h3 is dangerous um and if king uh, f7 is queen h7. It, on, on the other hand, if, if I played rook c6, king f7, there's no queen h7. So I think queen h3 is pretty dangerous here. Intuitively, I don't think like queen e7, I don't think. f7? I think just queen h3. Keep, it's a good move, but not the computer's first choice. <laughs> okay, maybe it is f7. Takes with a king. There's rook c7. Take the queen. Maybe queen h6. h3 is stronger. I can't believe it can be rook c6 because of king f7. Is that the case? Maybe it is. Because then rook c7 is, is probably going to be strong. So maybe it's just the simple. <laughs> the simple rook c6 king f7 rook c7 king f6 queen f3 okay i think rook c6 hang on rook c6 has refuted queen c6 back row mate unless there's queen e7 King f5. <laughs> nope. Can't see anything there. Oh, there's queen h7. And then there's queen b1 in that line. Uh, which means. Uh, this is really complicated. Rook c6, queen c6, queen e7, queen f5. Sorry, king f5, queen h7, king takes f6. I can take the queen. g1, queen b1, takes, takes. The king can go back and stop the queening. Um, I'll go back to the drawing board on f7, I think. <laughs> <laughs> F7? Ah. Uh, ah. Oh. oh dear. Um, F7. Try F7. Good move, but not the best. So go back to this rook c6, queen c6. Queen e7, king f5. Queen h7. Uh, there not too many alternatives here. So I think I'll go for rook c6. Alright, so queen e7. To avoid getting back row mated. Queen h7. I have to keep the checks up. Oh, he's rook g1's back row mate. Right, so the queen can protect on b1. So taking here is is a losing endgame. Rook g1, queen b1. 
Um, unless this pawn is, is winning there. Takes, takes. King e6, h4. King d6, h5. That could be actually... The king can't stop the c and h pawns. Is that really the key to this? Is it something more simple like queen h4 check? We can just get out of the checks in a nice way. Check. Um, so say like king e6. Like queen h3 check. <sighs> All right, I think I'm just going to go for this one. Oh, that was that was it. So correct eight, incorrect eight. Can I try for more than 50%? If queen takes d7 here, takes, takes, take on g5. Bishop e7, hang on, king takes, queen g7, that looks crushing, bishop e7, if king g8, then there's queen takes d7, so it isn't bishop e7 an improvement, I think bishop e7, I've been missing queen g7 in the blitz game recently, so here, oh now just, I oh know, bishop f7 as king takes, so just queen takes d7 here, yes! Correct nine, incorrect eight. I think I'm going to stop there, guys. I hope uh, you've enjoyed it. Um, okay, I have to tick for the last problem. Okay, just just one more, just one more, <laughs> and that's it. That's really it. Ah, uh, uh, knight takes d7, threatens queen g7, mate. So bishop d4. Um, hmm. Bishop c5, Queen c5, Knight g4 looks strong for Knight f6. Uh, Bishop c5, hmm, Knight c5. Queen sack probably not working. Bishop g6, probably not working. Um, so knight takes d7, bishop d4. Isn't that just knight takes f8 there, threatening? Just just, so just winning a piece, because then I'll be taking on, uh, on d4 next, because if the bishop moved, then queen h7, queen h Knight takes a knight f8. Say bishop a1. Queen h7, king f8. Then what? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, then back to the drawing board on bishop c5, queen c5. Knight g4. Then say, say queen e7 to defend f6. That queen g7 there isn't that a lot of speed then queen g7 king takes knight takes there's no there's no um, double check so knight d7 bishop d4 saying that knight f8 bishop a1 in that position queen h7 king f8 I think I'm going to guess, and it's going to be definitely the last one. Um, so, I'm going to guess 97. Wrong. Okay, 96, and I have to go to Lou. Anyway, comments or questions on YouTube? Uh, so it was actually 96 attacking the Queen, threatening mate, of course. 96, didn't even consider it. Okay, thanks very much.